वेलकम बैक गैस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी अपडेटिंग माई एफ एस एफ एम जनरेशन गाइड फॉर सैसन स्क्रीड वैल हेला विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज टी एल एस एस वो अपस्केलर इन कंजंक्शन विद एफ एस एफ फ्रेम जनरेशन इन ऑर टू अचीव दिस आई एल बी यूजिंग प्योर डार्क्स मॉड अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस मॉड इज नॉट फ्री यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब टू प्योर डार्क्स मंथली पेट्रियन इन ऑर टू गेन एक्सेस टू देर डिस्कॉट सर्वर विद मॉड फाइल इज प्रेजेंट दे मंथली सब्सक्रिप्शन कॉस्ट अराउंड फाइव यू एस डॉलर्स दिस गाइड विल बी एप्लीकेबल टू एवरी आर टी एक्स जी I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. In order to download the mod, just open Pyodas Discord server. I have already opened it. Click on ACB Beta Access under Download section. Scroll down to the end. From here, you need to download the FSR 3 build of the mod, not the DLSS 3 build. FSR 3 build is compatible with every GPU, whether it's from Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA. Does not matter. But on PCs with non-RTX GPUs, you won't be able to use DLSS upscaler. Just use XSS or FSR upscaler. DLSS 3 build will work on RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs. It will enable DLSS frame generation, not FSR frame generation. So just click on FSR 3 build 05 hotfix one link here. Installation instructions have been provided by Pyodak. We just need to extract the mod contents to the game's root directory. Then we need to launch the game and enable motion blur. Disable FSR and set anti-aliasing to high. In case you don't already know, this game does not support DLSS and DLSS frame generation. Press the home keyboard key to open the mods menu. If you are running the mod for the first time, you will be required to go through an authentication process. In the mod menu, you will see an authenticate button. Just click on it. It will open a browser window that will take you to Patreon's website. Make sure you are signed to your Patreon account. Patreon will ask for your permission. Just click on allow. The authentication process will be successful. Now return to the game. Press the home keyboard key again. Now you will be able to access the mod settings. In order to change the quality level of DLSS subscaler, Pyodak recommends changing the in-game resolution scale setting. For example, if you want to use the ultra quality level of DLSS, just set the resolution scale value to 80%. The older builds of this mod had some problem with the in-game resolution scale setting. It used to cause the game to crash after the end of a pre-rendered cutscene. The latest version of the mod should not be having this problem but if you still encounter this issue just restart the game and set the resolution scale value to 100% DLA this should fix the issue after the cutscene ends and the game loads up then you can change the resolution scale value upscaling can be toggled by pressing the numpad forward slash key and frame generation can be toggled by pressing the numpad star key in the change log it's mentioned that FSR was downgraded from version 3.1 to 3.0 to prevent the freezing of the game DLSS upscaler version is 3.7.2. I'll just download the latest version of DLSS upscaler from Tech Power of website. Just click on download here. This is the latest version at the time of recording this video, 310.2.1. Now click on any of these servers. The download will start. In order to activate the transformer model of DLSS 4 upscaler, we need to set the model preset to K. In order to verify these upscaler details, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. will run the registry code provided by emos to activate it just copy these lines from here create a new text file anyway on your pc name it anything you want i'll just name it as ole change its extension from .txt to .reg hit enter right click open with notepad paste the lines here click on file click on save close Just run this registry file. This will activate the debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace this number four here with zero. Now click on file, click on close, then execute the registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the overlay. Close. Run. Yes. Okay. That's it. I am on the Ubisoft Connect version of the game. Before installing the mod, I'll show you the game settings. Screen settings: No FPS cap applied. Display mode set to borderless. Resolution full HD. In-game vSync off. Resolution scale value first just set it to 100 percent. Apply. Graphics settings: Graphics quality depending on your hardware. I'll just select ultra high. Now you need to set anti-aliasing to high. Very important. This is required to get the mod working. From here, make sure FSR upscaler is disabled. Motion blur on. Up sample type off. 
That's it. Apply. Now I'll install the mod. Open the mods archive file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Ubisoft Connect Client. Click on the three dots below the game's box art. Click on Manage. Click on Properties. Click on Installation. Click on Open Folder. Paste the files there. Now I'll manually update DLSS Subscaler. Open the Upscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file. Open the Games Install directory. Just need to replace the older version with the latest version. Open Mods folder. Open Upscaler Base Plugin folder. Paste the DLL file here. Here is the older version, 3.7. Click on Replace. That's it. Now make sure Hardware Accelerated GPU Shared Link setting is enabled. Right click on the desktop, click on Display Settings. Click on Graphics. Click on Advanced Graphics Settings. From here, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Shared Link. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage CD Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Scroll down to the end. From here, enable VSync. Apply the chain. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. Apply the changes. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. Click on Display. Check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. This is optional. Now this game does not support NVIDIA Reflex. So I'll be enabling it via RTSS. Reflex helps in cutting down the latency. Just open RTSS. Click on Add here. Navigate to the directory where the game is installed on your PC. In my case, it's E Drive, Ubisoft folder, Assassin's Creed Valhalla folder. Now you need to select this exe file AC Valhalla. Double click. Select it. Now click on Setup. Scroll down to the end. Click on the drop down bar next to Enable Frame Rate Limiter. Select NVIDIA Reflex. Now click on the drop down bar next to Inject NVIDIA Reflex Sleep Call. Select After Frame Presentation. Click on OK. Now we need to set a frame rate limit for the game. Need to set the frame rate limit to a value slightly lower than your display's max refresh rate value. For example, if your display supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, just set the value to 138. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so I'll set the value to 225. Hit enter. That's it, we're done here. Ready to run the game. We're in the games menu. Yeah, RTSS FPS cap is working. FPS is capped at 225. Open the mods menu by pressing the home keyboard key. There's the mod menu. I have already authenticated the mod. From this drop down bar, we can select the upscaler. DLSS, XSS, and FSR 3 upscalers are supported. If you have an RTS GPU, select DLSS. Check the setting, enable upscaling. Okay, this is a very important setting. You need to change the model preset to default, not preset E. Advanced settings. Use auto exposure setting on. Enable frame generation setting on. Okay, I'll disable it for the time being. Show you the base performance. Hardwick setting on. Don't need to apply any FPS cap. That's it, we're done here. I'll disable reshades FPS counter. Open the mod menu again. Click on settings here. Scroll down to the end. From here, you need to uncheck one setting. Show FPS. There you go. Start the game. We are in. There's AWO. This game features a very lengthy campaign. Principally set in the year 872 to 878 AD. Okay, here FPS is close to 77. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. Good performance even without frame generation. Check out the 
DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Model preset used is K version of the upscale of 310.2.1. Base resolution full HD, upscale to full HD, DLA 70 to 77 FPS without frame gen. Now I'll enable it. Open the mods menu. Check the setting, enable frame generation. Back to the game, the yeah, FPS increased to around 120, can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation smoothing effect is definitely working. Not observing any graphical artifacts, check out AWOS character model, it's looking so clean and sharp. Games hard elements are not flickering, but the debug overlay is flickering. As expected, TLSS debug overlay is not a part of the game's interface. After verifying the details of DLSS subscaler, you can disable it. The open world looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I'll show you how to use DLSS subscaler. Do not change the resolution scale value while the game is running in the background. Change it from the games menu. I'll just quit to desktop. Disable DLSS debug overlay. Just edit the registry file that we created earlier. Replace number 4 with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. Yes, ok. Launch the game. I'll be using the ultra quality preset of TLSS. So I'll just set the in game resolution scale value to 80%. Apply. Open the mods menu. Home keyboard key. Now just check the quality level of the upscaler. It's set to ultra quality. We are in. Yeah, FPS increased to around 140. This is DLSS subscaler. Check out the vegetation quality. Not observing any artifacts around them. Ava's hair is looking sharp. Same thing for the horse's hair. Upscaler works very nicely. Gained about 20 FPS. After switching from DLA to the ultra quality preset of DLSS subscaler. Not bad at all. Ok, now I'll read this cam. Keep an eye on the frame pacing graph. It should be a flat line. If there is no stuttering. Performance should be stable. Just dismount. Barge into the cam. Looking for an entry point. This place is heavily guarded. Take out this card. There's our entry point. I'll just spam my abilities. We can hide in the vegetation. Aim for the weak spot. Stagger that guy. One thirty FPS even during combat. The mod works very nicely in this game, highly recommend it from my side. It's a shame that Ubisoft never added TLSS or FSR scaler in this game. Forget about frame generation. So no stuttering at all. Reflex is doing a good job. Input delay is not a problem. Just make sure the base FPS does not fall below 60. The input delay penalty is easily perceivable when using a mouse instead of a gamepad. I'll try to execute a parry now. Just need to press the Q key right before our enemy's attack lands. Nail it. I'll take out this guy. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.